Hey y'all, it's your girl B. Evan and Chanel. I meant to check in with y'all before I got here, but I didn't, so I'm sorry. And excuse the hearing that I'm at work. Just want to tell y'all this is my last day at work, and I'll check in and tell y'all I feel after. Um, I really, really meant to talk to y'all before I got here, just tell y'all what my head was, but I didn't, and it's okay. We'll talk about it later, but this is me during, and y'all will get to see me after. And if I get to crying and stuff, just <laughs> excuse me, okay? Because, like, for real, I didn't want to leave y'all. And I'm kind of, like, a little sad about it. But you got to do what you got to do. And so, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, you guys, I'm back. And, like, I just left. Well, I'm still sitting in the parking lot. But, um, I don't know. Like, I'm kinda, I kind of got mixed emotions. And I'm going to try not to cry. But... I, I'm a crybaby. I ain't even gonna lie. If y'all haven't you noticed know, by now, I'm a crybaby. But this was literally my very first job. Um, and had I stayed, had my last day been tomorrow, I would literally been here for exactly two months because I got hired. I mean, two years. I'm sorry, two years because I got hired um, January 20th, two years ago. Um, and so today is the 19th. Um, but like I say, it's bittersweet because two years of working here, you get used to people. You grow to like people. Um, even though I had some ups and downs, um, and even though you know some crazy stuff went on here sometimes, but still, like you get used to these people. So it hurts my feelings. Like honestly, y'all, I did not, I did want to leave. I don't want to go. But when the Lord says you gotta move, then you gotta move. You know. And had I not, you know, left, I would have still been sitting here. You know. <coughs> and no telling what I would have gone through just by me being disobedient. At first, you know, I was just like, cause I can do DoorDash or whatever. Um, so at first I was just like, you know, it is what it is. Um, currently, right now, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to go to school this semester. School starts this week. Um, up until tonight, I hadn't gotten a call back from the place that I was planning to go to. Um, and so, luckily, I have an interview tomorrow. And so, um, just wish me the best, y'all. I'm pretty sure by the time this vlog goes up, though, um, I don't know if I have a job or not, but I really just been going with the flow and being that I went through what I went through the end of last year, um, I was kind of pushed to the point to where I have no choice but to depend on God and, um, that's okay. Um, it's teaching me something new. Um, I'm learning to fully depend on him and so right now I really just feel like I'm just going with the flow and I'm okay with that simply because I know that if he had me to leave this place then he gotta have somewhere for me to go um so whatever happens happens and even if it's not what I want I know that it's his plan you know and so um like I said, I'm just going with the flow and just learning to just completely depend on him. And this is really new for me because I'm the type of person who wants to have my hands on everything, you know. Um, I had a plan for my life. I had this. I had that. And our plans are not. It's, it's, our plans are not God's plans. And it's okay because he knows what's best for us. And so, um, now y'all get to see me go through a whole nother journey of just learning to just depend on him and completely, you know, on him. Um, it's crazy, you know. It is. It's a little... I can't even say scary because um, I'm not scared right now. I'm not. I'm just like, alright, Jesus. I'm trusting you. Um... I'm trusting you like never before, you know. And so, I'm just discovering a new faith. Um, 
had I believe had I not gone through what I gone through, I went through, I would be nervous. I would be scared to to just have my hands completely off of my life right now or what it feels like. But being that I went through what I went through, um, it has allowed me to come to the mindset of to just take my hands off of it and just to trust him. It's crazy. Like I said, y'all, I've been here for two years. Two years. And it's really bittersweet because you just like, you know. I went through some crazy stuff here. I did. But at the same time, I've grown to love these people even in their imperfections because none of us are perfect. And so I've grown to love the relationships that I've, you know, developed here. I've learned to love these crazy people. And now I won't get to work with them every day anymore, you know. I won't get to joke with them and laugh with them and stuff, you know. It'll be different. Um, I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I don't know. But, like I said, um, I'm just learning to trust him wholeheartedly and to take my hands off my own situation and allow him to have it and to learn to go to him in all things and not just oh Jesus I need this oh Jesus I need that and to just be like whatever happens happens and um it's for my good and to just be content and find comfort in him and so that's the journey that I'm on. Um, and just follow in love with him all over again. And in the process, discovering who I am. And it's crazy because you think, well, I know who I am. I know who I am. But you, you realize that, you know, especially with me going through this process or whatever like that, um, I know I won't be the same, you know. I know I won't be the same in a good way because I'm releasing all this stuff. And I'm making sure to check that as I'm releasing this stuff, I make sure I'm replacing it with something good. And so as I'm releasing this stuff, as I'm releasing these uh, old habits, these bad habits, and I'm picking up new ones, you know, and learning to live without these scars, you know, without these wounds. Um you become a, a, a different person and so I'm just waiting to see who that person is you know the better version of me the even better version of me the version that's not holding on to past hurt and you know learning how to control my anger and you know just getting over a heartbreak and so it's beautiful, but at the same time, it's just like, you get so used to doing what you're doing, and you're just like, okay, this is something new. And so, I'm on this journey, and you guys get to see me on it. And I just want to see where it takes me. And I hope and I pray that I'm ready, you know? And so, that's the only thing that I can do, It's just, to continue to allow God to prepare me, you know, do it different this time instead of trying to prepare myself. Um, cause how can I prepare myself for something that I don't even know is about to come? So allow him to prepare me and him to groom me and him to shape me and mold me, you know? And so, yeah, you guys, um, I guess that's it for this vlog. Um, and wish me luck on my interview in the morning. <laughs> and just just stay tuned. Just stay tuned. So good night, y'all.